Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very interesting and challenging question from Math Olympiads from System of Equations. We have three equations and we have to find out all real values, all real solutions. So let's get started by adding one to both sides. So I will add one to our first equation first. So I can write LHS will become XY minus x minus y then we will add 1 rhs will become 11 plus 1 so we will write 12 i can take x common from first two terms so in the bracket we can write y minus 1 then we will take minus 1 common from last two terms we will be getting y minus 1 in the bracket rhs will be equal to 12 now y minus 1 is overall common so we will get factors x minus 1 times y minus 1 equal to 12. This equation we will call equation number 1. Now I will add 1 to our second equation both sides. So plus 1 plus 1. I can write our equation here. So LHS will become YZ minus Y minus Z plus 1. And RHS will be 14 plus 1 is 15. Again we can take Y common from first two terms. So we will be getting Z minus 1 in the bracket. And minus 1 is common from last two terms. We will be getting Z minus 1 in the bracket. RHS will be 15. Now we can take Z minus 1 common out. So in other bracket we will get Y minus 1 equal to 15. And this equation we will call equation number 2. Now we will add 1 to third equation both sides. So I will write here plus 1. This side also I will write plus 1. Our equation will become zx minus z minus x plus 1 equal to 19 plus 1 is 20. Again we can take z common from first two terms. We will have x minus 1 in the bracket. Minus 1 common from last two terms we will get x minus 1 in the bracket, RHS will be equal to 20. Now x minus 1 is overall common, we will get x minus 1 times z minus 1 equal to 20. This is our equation number 3. Now we are going to multiply all three equations 1, 2 and 3. Let me write here equations first. Here it is. Now we will multiply equation 1 with 2 with 3. So we need to multiply LHS in left hand side and all the RHS terms will multiply in right hand side. So I will write here x minus 1 times x minus 1. So we can write x minus 1 whole square. y minus 1 times y minus 1. So we will write y minus 1 whole square. z minus 1 times z minus 1 will give us z minus 1 whole square equal to 12 times 15 times 20. Now LHS will become x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1 whole square and RHS will be 15 times 12, 180 times 20, so 3600. 3600 is a square of 60. Now left hand side we have x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1 whole square. And in RHS we have 
60 square. Now we will take square root both sides. We will be getting x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1 equal to plus minus 60. And this we will call equation number 4. Now if you will notice here we have equation 1 where we are getting x minus 1 times y minus 1 and here we have equation 4 where we are getting x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1. So we can divide equation 4 with equation 1 to get the value of z minus 1. Let us perform operation 4 divided by 1. So we will write here equation 4 divided by equation 1. The LHS of equation 4 is x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1 and LHS of equation 1 is x minus 1 times y minus 1. In RHS we will be writing RHS of equation 4 which is plus minus 60 divided by RHS of equation 1 which is 12. So we can cancel 60 by 12 will be getting 5 and here we will cancel x minus 1 with x minus 1, y minus 1 with y minus 1. We will write z minus 1 equal to plus minus 5. Now we will add 1 to both sides. So plus and minus 1 will get over. We will get z equal to 1 plus minus 5. So I can write here with plus sign we will have 1 plus 5 with minus sign we will consider 1 minus 5. So we will be getting two z values 6 and negative 4. Now I will perform operation 4 divided by 2. Let me write here 4 divided by 2. LHS of equation 4 is x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1. LHS of equation 2 is y minus 1 times z minus 1. Now we will divide RHS. So I will write plus minus 60 divided by 15, which will give us plus minus 4 in the RHS. Now y minus 1, y minus 1 will be over, z minus 1, z minus 1 will be over from LHS numerator and denominator. We will get the value of x minus 1 plus minus 4. Again we will add 1 to both sides to cancel minus 1 from LHS. We will get LHS x equal to 1 plus minus 4. So I can write here x will be equal to 1 plus 4 and 1 minus 4. So we are having x 5 and negative 3. Now we will perform operation 4 divided by 3. So I will write here 4 divided by 3. I will write LHS of both and divide x minus 1 times y minus 1 times z minus 1 divided by equation 3. LHS was z minus 1 times x minus 1. Now we will write in RHS plus minus 60 divided by 20. So I will get from here y minus 1 value which will be equal to plus minus 3 as we can cancel z minus 1 x minus 1 from LHS. So y will become 1 plus minus 3 with plus sign will get 4 with minus sign will get negative 2. So we have y values 4 and negative 2.
now i will write x and y also so x will be equal to 5 negative 3 and z value we will write 6 negative 4 now we can write our final answer in order triplet x comma y comma z this will be equal to 5 comma 4 comma 6 and negative 3 comma negative 2 comma negative 4 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe and hype bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye